I'm now absolutely delighted to be joined by Michael Falk. Michael, welcome. Hello. Welcome. Nice to see you. So, Michael, I know you're heading up a, a, a committee for the APS. Tell us a little bit about that committee's remit. Well, it's the Ad Hoc Committee for LGBT Issues, and we were charged by Kate Kirby to assess what is the climate for LGBT people in physics. And what is the climate? Well, it's, it's quite mixed. It really depends on what institution you're at and what your identity is, is what we found. We undertook a climate survey of several hundred physicists, and we found that um, a fair percentage have experienced exclusionary behavior, which involves things like harassment or exclusion. And, um, and the degree to which one experiences such behavior depends on whether you're a man, a woman, women tended to experience, LGBT women tended to experience such experiences at three times the rate of men. Gender non-conforming or transgender people at even higher rates. Uh, 21st century uh, physics, you, you kind of wouldn't expect to find any discrimination, would you? Well, I think, you know, the physics community reflects the society at large and, um, you know, different institutions behave in different ways. So I think it can be very uneven from university to university or lab to lab. So, you know, I still think we have quite a bit of work to do getting the word out and empowering people to advocate for themselves and for their colleagues so that all corners of physics are accepting. But this shouldn't be, this shouldn't happen, should it? We shouldn't have this form of discrimination, should we? No, certainly not. I mean, you know, physics is based on the idea that you want to optimize the, you know, our discovery of the universe. And uh, to do that, you have to marshal the best intellects on the planet. And those intellects could be anybody. They could be, um, you know, have any kind of identity. And uh, so we need as a community to be accepting to people of all walks of life. So what do we do now? How do we combat this? So we're focusing now on um, providing recommendations to the APS. That was part of our charge specifically to provide actionable recommendations that APS could undertake. And those include providing um, guidance so that our meetings like the APS March meeting we're at now can be welcoming to all people. Uh, it includes making sure that APS's mentoring uh, activities are cognizant of the fact that the people they're mentoring may be lesbian, gay, bisexual, or transgender people. Um, and it involves providing resources so people locally can make their departments, their laboratories more welcoming and provide support to their colleagues um, in ways that they maybe weren't able to before. Well, Michael, thank you very much indeed for joining us sure. today. Really appreciate My it. Pleasure. Thank you.